Greetings everyone, Marvin Ford here with another Great American Survival and in today's video we are going to be talking to you all about Orca. Now Orca makes a, some really nice um, insulated water bottles, we're going to be talking about their Hydra bottle. This thing's been great, we've enjoyed it on quite a few of our trips. It's very durable. I like it. I think if you're looking for a water bottle and you're looking for one that's going to be all purpose that you can take on hiking trips, carry it to the gym, uh, carry it with you every day. And oh, man, honestly, use it as a self-defense weapon if you need to. I mean, this thing's awesome. It's solid. It's stainless steel and it is just a monster. I mean, it is great. So if you're looking at this, stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so we came around back. We're back here on our table. I made my wife this table out of re refinished, um, repurposed pallets. Uh, works great. It's like a, I guess they call it a barn table, and it just covers the back. Our, we had a cheesy little back patio table, and I made this to just to cover it up. Took a bunch of pallets, sanded them all down, did them all a little different, just try to make it look cool. But uh, we're gonna talk about the bottle. Now, the bottle itself is really well done. This is the 34 ounce model of the Hydra, which is dedicated, this one is for the University of Georgia. Go dogs. And the first thing I'll tell you about this bottle is it's very, very durable. I was kind of concerned about this finish with the, the logo, with the mascot logo. But honestly, after all of this, after a few few months of owning it, it's got a couple of little nicks in it, but that's about it. The bottle itself has held up really, really well. This one is 18.8 stainless steel. And like I said, this is the 34 ounce mascot matted version of the Hydra. I like it. It's a great bottle. Uh, this one being 34 ounces, this one is 11 and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide with an 11 and a half inch circumference around the bottom, which means it doesn't fit in most water, most um, cup holders, but it works great. I like the volume because 34 ounces is just perfect. Uh, I like that between that and 40, between 30 and 40 ounces is a great size for me. That allows you to fill up and be able to have, a, if you're hiking or walking or whatever you're doing, just going to school, that gives you quite a few hours of water to stay hydrated, whether, like I said, don't just assume that these bottles are for your hiking. They're great for everyday carry. They're great for you to take with you. Uh, honestly, my wife says, like when she's walking out to the car, she's got hers holding it by the whale tail, which is this little thing on the cap I'll talk about. And she holds it and ready just to swing and just bludgeon somebody to death. When you've got this about you know halfway or full, you could swing this thing and it's gonna do some damage. Uh, it's insulated, so it's gonna keep your hot stuff hot and your cold stuff cold. And it weighs about a one, about just over a pound when it's empty. Uh, the cap itself I like because it's both, as you see, it's got a wide mouth, which makes it where when you do like me, I went on my last on a hike a couple weeks ago and I filled it with really hot bone broth, which after the four hours till it was till I drank it all, uh, it was still way like hot where I couldn't just chug it. I couldn't just drink it real fast. I had to kind of sip on it. I put it in, it was way too hot. Uh, I should have let it cool off a little bit before I poured it in here because this thing kept it very, very warm. Now, I use this thing on a regular basis, fill it up with water and take it to work. And I like it because if I fill it up in the morning, I get to work, I'm good till lunch. Now, the good thing about this volume is if you're somebody that worries about your personal protection, which I don't mean in a self-defense manner, I mean in the drinking sanitized products. Uh, being powder coated and stainless steel allows you to run it in your dishwasher and I like the fact that if I fill it up being 34 ounces it allows me if I fill it up with water I won't have to fill it back up I can get all the way to lunch unless I just go Joe bonkers and just get really really thirsty but the hydration allows you to stay hydrated no matter what you're doing whether you like I said we're going to the gym it's one thing but going to school or going on a hike Guys, don't assume that this right here won't work for you just every day. That's what I like about it. Uh, the cap is the best of both worlds. Wide mouth bottle, which makes it where if you're running stuff like bone broth, like I do, uh, if you're running something like that down in here, you wanna be able to get in there and clean it, then run it in your dishwasher and sanitize it. That's awesome. Then you've got the cap, 
which I like a lot, very easy to do, has this nice silicone ring across here, which makes it where when you go to take it off, you know, take the two pieces apart to fill it up, it's very easy uh, to get a grip on this thing. And it's honestly harder to grip the bottle than it is the cap. The cap will spin, break loose very easily. It does have this really cool whale tail uh, handle, which my wife loves. She said it allows her to really grab a hold of this thing. If she wanted to, when she's walking out to her car, she could grab onto it and just whack somebody with it. Uh, the cap is very easy to twist off and then it just pops up, has this attachment that keeps it in place so it doesn't just fall and you don't lose it. Very cool. Yes, that's what you expect with most of these water bottles like this, but this thing, very well made, very well done. And like I said, we just like it. Uh, this thing, like I said, powder coated, got this, I thought it was a sticker at first, but it's not, it's really in there. I've got a couple of little nicks in it, but other than that, this thing's held up really, really well. Just what you might need for your next adventure. Good actually. Did you have a good time? Yes. It was fun, huh? Nice walk around the lake, got to walk back in the woods, took Parker, got some exercise. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yep, it was very good actually. It's mostly actually insanely cool. No? Insanely cool? Not insanely cool, but... No, it's insanely cool. Next time we're gonna come back and explore that, like, you know, that building we came across? Which building? You know, by the lake? The the little, where little the little gazebo, gazebo was? Gazebo. Oh, okay. Next time we gotta do that. We can do that. Yeah, we haven't explored it yet. We still gotta see it. I don't know how you're supposed to get onto it. There's a trail. So, as you see, another wonderful day on the trail. Uh, the doggo's tired, the, kid, the kiddo's tired. We're gonna head over here. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat and head to the house. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, give it the old thumbs up and tell the world about it. So, thanks again. Hope you guys take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.